Good morning. Today we're at Kroger. We're checking out the new sales for the week. It is February 2nd, 2022. We're going to check out some of the things you guys have asked about. We have a big storm coming tonight. Do it. So you guys will be seeing this video on Thursday. So the ice storm will have already hit. Um, but we're coming into Kroger today to also pick up a few items because we're supposed to get maybe up to a half an inch to maybe even an inch of ice and you know in case there's a power outage or something like that we want to make sure we have a few extra items on hand and you know i hope you guys are all being safe don't go out driving in it if you don't have to uh, apparently this storm is hitting all over the country right now so be safe so i knew this was going to be an issue so i wanted to race here and get some milk it is 219 a gallon so that has stayed uh, pretty much regular for the time being uh, but as you can see people are buying it up so post cereal this week is part of the buy five or more save a dollar dollar 99 each that includes a few post cereals here cocoa pebbles honey bunches of oats so they have this check cereal on the other side I wanted to point out that this is a regular 12 ounce box 459 it says low price We've been seeing regular sized boxes at $3.99. $4.59 for this? Sheesh. The buy five or more deal is with Tide this week too, so you can save a dollar. That's what the sale prices that they were showing are. Uh, these um, 32 load things of Tide for $4.99, that's actually a pretty decent deal. They do have the General Mills giant size cereals on sale this week for $4.49, which you know, these are $5.48 at Walmart. I believe they were $5.99 here at one point. Let's see. Regular price, $6.49. Wow, that's gone up 50 cents on the regular price. So a couple of you have asked about the Healthy Choice uh, microwave meals. Um, we do buy these sometimes. Now, they are 4 for 10, so that could be part of it. But you guys were saying that they've been low. And uh, this is the first time I've seen a uh, healthy choice this low. Uh, the snowstorm and some of that could be playing part in this. Now I am at the Kroger Marketplace uh, mostly because I felt like they would have the most stuff before the snowstorm. But I gotta say they are out of a lot of stuff already. Um, now the storm is tomorrow for us but you guys will be seeing this video the day of the storm. Um, they are out of a lot of vegetables and stuff. Also wanted to point out that... They are very low on banquet meals. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on banquet meals and them kind of going out the door again. Uh, we do see a sticker down here. They don't have them all over the place like they did a couple months ago. They're definitely near out. So I was wondering when we were gonna start seeing stickers on the Arida Fries because we've noticed they have been out all over the city. They have not been able to get them in. I gotta say, this store is looking pretty bare. For being a Kroger marketplace, this is kind of, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. They do have a lot of their, I wouldn't say a lot, but they do have some of their hash browns and stuff like that. Some of their french fries. Okay, so I had a feeling that this was going to happen. We are seeing a lot of the family size Stouffer's meals out too. This is across the aisle here. Uh, the regular Stouffer's was over here. The family size is over here. Uh, they do have the macaroni and cheese on sale that a lot of people have commented on for $5.99 this week. Um, and they have the meatloaf. It says low price. That's not the sale. That's just the regular price. Kind of makes me think it's going up. They got the family size meatloaf for $8.59. And stickers are going up everywhere. I am kind of surprised that we haven't seen these stickers on the Jimmy Dean go back up yet. I don't know if they've just been able to not be able to get them out i don't know to be honest with you it seems like they're quite short on employees for this place too it is the day before the storm i do think a lot of this is being bought up because you know people are afraid that we're going to lose power and stuff like that and, and we've already heard that some places further out west that has been part of the problem but i do gotta say um if you're further east than cincinnati ohio from us this video is coming out uh, the morning of the ice storm for us. So if you are on the east, if you are east of Cincinnati, Ohio, 
I would definitely get to the store if you need anything. Somebody said that the condensed soups were going on sale at Kroger uh, this week. I don't see the sale here. They're four for five. $1.25 a can for the condensed soups. They have a huge, like, middle section here of it. Every bit of Philadelphia cream cheese is gone, and we noticed that there are a lot more stickers. They started to take these down, but they just went right back up. There's none of their brand and no Philadelphia cream cheese at all. For those of you who love Sargento, they do have a deal going on this week. Buy one, get one free. Hey, they got a sale on Ritz crackers this week. Uh, Nabitsko Ritz cookies. $2.88. So I had to double check because I saw over in a section that didn't have a price. Uh, Ritz crackers are on sale this week. Two to so I had to come over here to where they have most of these because they didn't have a price on the other side where I was looking. But Ritz crackers are $2.88 a piece this week with your Kroger Plus card. Normally $3.29. Okay, well... I'm just letting you guys know right now, a lot of you guys have asked about oils, cooking oils. Um, we're starting to see the inconvenience stickers on cooking oils, uh, specifically the Kroger brand. Um, doesn't look like they have any on Crisco right now, but that will probably follow suit. So I came across some of the Ball brand mason jars that a lot of people have been looking for. I would have to say... Don't buy them at Kroger. These are ridiculously expensive compared to what we saw at Target. Some of these Target was half of the price. So I would, if you have a Target near you, uh, some people said that they saw them at Walmart too. Um, I would check there. I mean, they do have a selection, you know, but oh, look at this. Uh-oh. Inconvenience stickers. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys out there have been looking for these. Uh, we seem to find them everywhere. However, the prices are just kind of ridiculous the best place we've seen on prices for these has been target yeah so we might want to make some sandwiches this weekend if we're trapped in i did want to point out that the oscar meyer uh, meats deli meats have gone up 79 cents 80 cents they were 3.99 now up to uh, 4.79 and for the one pound pack they actually have this on the sale this week of the buy five or more save a dollar or more so a couple of you have pointed out that you've been having trouble finding the hebrew national bun length beef franks i don't know if it was a bun length but i think they're all like this 2.99 with the uh, buy five or more save a dollar deal uh, or just get the sale for 3.99 regular price of these 5.99 man that is ridiculous okay so i was kind of expecting this we have seen bread just kind of fly off the shelves However, let's remember there is a snowstorm, uh, you know, so that's probably a big reason. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty nuts. Okay, so I wanted to point out that Kroger's, this Kroger's, does sell the Sweet Sioux chicken and dumplings. Now, a lot of you guys have left comments saying not to get the boned chicken. Uh, actually, we haven't had any good comments on this. A lot of good comments on the chicken and dumplings. Uh, so I'm going to try that here at some point. They also have the Keystone Meats that some of you guys have asked about. They have the beef, the pork, and the chicken. Also, a lot of people have been asking about the white premium chunk chicken breast of the Swanson. It is on sale on um, the buy five or more, save a dollar, uh, $2.49 a can. That is a great deal. Now, some products will be on sale, like it'll show the regular price and then it'll be on sale. Uh, so this, but this one in particular, the Heinz Ketchup, 38 ounces, uh, it is part of the buy five or more, but if you just want to get one, it would be $3.79. If you could find five different products that are on these participating tickets, then uh, you could save a bunch of money. Well, will you look at this. The Pringles cans, the big party stacks are on sale this week. Buy five or more, save a dollar or more, $1.19. I'm gonna have to buy a few of these. A couple of you guys were asking about the Zesta Saltine Crackers. A 16 ounce box for $2.79, normally $3.29. So that's, you know, they're on sale this week. They do have a pretty decent sale on their ribeyes this week. $9.99 a pound. It's been normally $14.99 a pound. That's actually the lowest uh, we've seen in around. $14.99 on sale this week, $9.99. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. Now, we don't really buy the three-pound tubes anymore from Kroger, but I did want to point out it is a good sale. 
897 for a three pound tube and the 7327. I mean, that's that's as cheap as you're gonna find it anywhere. They do have the boneless beef chuck roasts on sale for $6.99 a pound down from $7.99 a pound. I'm glad we bought a couple when it was $4.99 a pound just a couple weeks ago. Um, and this has been, you know, pretty much a regular price. Uh, $7.99, it was $7.99 a pound there for a good few weeks. So at least we're seeing some bit of a break. They do have pork loins, buy one, get one free this week. Uh, regularly $3.99 a pound. Uh, it's a great deal though. Buy one, get one free. Can't beat that. Another great deal is this buy one, get one free of the pork spare ribs, the Kroger spare ribs. Uh, these are good ribs. And uh, man, yeah, that's a good deal. So I am not seeing any chicken on sale this week. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, no Tyson chicken or Heritage Farm on sale this week. Now I do see some Miller but this isn't on sale this week either, so you're gonna pay full price for chicken. If there is a sale, they don't have the stickers out yet. So I wanted to show that they do have a digital coupon deal on the five pound bag of russet potatoes, Kroger's, $1.47 each. Now it doesn't say how many times you can use this deal. Usually it'll say up to five times or up to a couple times. It, it doesn't say that on here, so I'm assuming that you can only get one of these, but I would check online because a dollar 47 that'll make it what three dollars for 10 pounds okay so i did want to point out that they have now put stickers on some of the spinach and uh spring mixes and stuff like that which we haven't seen stickers on these before um if we have it's been a while i also wanted to show i know a lot of people always comment on bagged lettuce that you can't find anywhere well they, they're putting the stickers back up on all of them there have been a lot of recalls on most bagged lettuce lately so if i were you i would get a head of lettuce and make your own salads for a little while so the last time i did a video here someone said i should try the cosmic crisp apples yeah that looks pretty amazing i'm gonna try that they are on sale this week $1.99 a pound actually there are a lot of apples on sale this week the sugar bee apples $1.99 a pound Envy apples, $1.99 a pound. One awesome sale that they have at Kroger this week is the red cherries. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting on these. Regular price, $5.99. Uh, they have them in for $1.99 a pound. Some of you guys have been talking about mushrooms, not being able to find a lot of mushrooms. Well, I just noticed here, it's the first time I've ever seen the inconvenience stickers on mushrooms, at least at this Kroger. Um, now they have plenty here now, but I don't know, we're seeing these stickers. They are on sale this week, $1.79 down from $1.99. Did want to point out on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. They do have a lot of the Quaker variety oatmeal packs. Um, and they also, on the same deal, have the Nature Valley granola bars for $1.99. So thank you to who pointed this out this week. They do have the Del Monte vegetables, corn, green beans, peas on sale, 10 for 10. Or you can just buy one as long as you use your Kroger Plus card. Or you can get 20. They're a dollar. What a deal. What is part of the buy five or more save a dollar each is the four pack cans. $3.49 for a four pack. Now you have to get the same kind. But you could get four of the green beans, the kernel corn, or the sweet peas. It's a great deal. $3.50. That makes it less than a dollar a piece. Okay, so I wanted to double check. The only... Campbell's that's on sale and it's a dollar 25 a can or the cream of soups all the other ones are a dollar 89 a can still somebody had said that you've been having trouble finding progresso soup they do have a lot here but it is up to 249 and look at this inconvenience sticker so I don't know if is this going to be another issue they have these as a regular price at Target for a dollar 49 a can so if you're looking to stock up on some progressive soup right now there may be a sale somewhere else but you're going to pay 249 here at Kroger everything I can you hear this customer service thing this has been going off every 30 seconds for as long as I've been here over an hour so far that's how packed it is uh, probably gonna have to get out of here soon it, it's just such a big crowd I'm trying to stay away from everybody but that customer service phone has been ringing every 30 seconds it's just one of them frustrating days at Kroger before a storm it happens here in Cincinnati every now and then 
Um, I did want to show that they have V8 back in. It is up to $3.99 for a regular thing of it. I usually get the Kroger vegetable juice. Um, this is what I use for my vegetable soup that I made a few videos back. $2.99, uh, and it's arguably better than V8 in my opinion. They are very low on juices though. We've seen this all over the city. Um, yeah, there's just not as much coming in and we're seeing stickers everywhere. This concerns me seeing all this at the marketplace because they get a lot of stuff. Now, as we know, we've been having a lot of trucking issues across the country here. I have a feeling that this is playing a big part in the new things that we're starting to see missing new stickers up here everywhere and they're trying to make it like a sale on stuff when they don't have it now i know a lot of people commented on that um they, they plan their sales weeks ahead of time so even if they don't have anything they have to put it up for that sale price i understand that it just looks weird when it's empty now they are next to out of chips i mean they have some but i wanted to point out that they have the uh buy four or more a dollar 99 each so any of the Ruffles brands uh, here on this deal, you can get them for $1.99 each, which is a great deal, which we've seen these have gone up to $4.79 on sale for $3.99, buy four or more, uh, $1.99. And you do have to buy four of the Ruffles products, Ruffles chips here. Like this isn't part of the buy five or more and save a dollar each. So Tostito chips right now are part of this deal right now too. But I am kind of, I'm not sure if you can buy two of these and then two of those, even though they're on the same purple sticker. It probably has to be this product. This is just flat out insanity, guys. So I, I didn't go down this freezer aisle, but I did want to show a lot of people have been asking about the Pillsbury biscuits. Um, they're gone. Like, we can't find them anymore. Uh, we, luckily, we bought a couple. Uh, when we were at Aldi and another time at Kroger, but yeah, they're they're really struggling to get these in Some people seem to think that it might be the aluminum can um, I I'm not really sure it could be a trucking it could be a multitude of things But they have not been able to get it in at all did want to point out that the Nutrigrain bars the eight pack bars are part of the buy five or more save a dollar each deal dollar ninety nine a box however, hopefully your Kroger's has them because ours does not few of them apple and carrot that's probably why these are here who wants that i wanted to kind of cycle back around here a lot of you guys were asking about lean cuisine meals these have been kind of going out the door here even before the storm um and i don't know this must be another one that's really hard to get in but a few of you have commented on this so i wanted to point it out that here in cincinnati it most microwave meals are pretty low to be honest with you so some of you guys have mentioned the fruit cups, the Dole fruit cups have kind of been going out again. You know, we saw they had the stickers off of these and now they're back on. We're also seeing that with some of the Kroger fruit cups. Um, yeah, and, you know, it's, it's pretty empty. Yeah, knowing that the storm is coming tonight, I probably shouldn't have came here today. Hey. Another customer service call. This place is way overcrowded. It's kind of depressing. I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of this is being bought up because of the storm and everything, but I see so many inconvenience stickers in here. It's it's nuts. So some of this stuff, I would assume people are buying this up from the storm, uh, but we are seeing inconvenience stickers on even the kidney beans. I mean, even Bush's beans down here, they have a bunch of stickers. There's a bunch of people down there, so I'm not going to get in their way or anything. This place is just overly crowded today. Very few ramen noodles. Somebody asked about the big boxes of ramen. Um, yeah, there's only a couple. If you want ramen noodles, I assume. Now, some people have said that their Walmarts have been out of it. Our Walmart is stacked, so maybe it's coming your way. I'm not really sure. But they do have the six packs here, uh, two for $3, which is actually pretty good. We've seen that it's been a lot higher at other places. Brings them down to $1.50 a piece. We are starting to see shortages on pasta again. As you can see here on the Barilla, they finally got the stickers back up. They were low on Barilla last week, not like this. They are very low on their own pasta as well. And also Cremet, which they had a lot of this the last time we were there. They do have the DiCecco, which a lot of people have raved about in the comments. A little more expensive, but you know, if it's good, it's good. Um, 
do have some Barilla, okay, fettuccine. This is the gluten-free uh, on sale this week. It is part of the deal. Buy five or more, save a dollar each. $1.29. Well, that's a good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, I couldn't have picked a worse day to go to Kroger, huh? <laughs> um, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to make sure and get up there to show you guys the deals. One thing that I kept off the video at first was I had actually gone to a different Kroger to show the sales and everything. And there were no parking spots, none. Like I was like, well, whatever. So I just turned around and I drove to the marketplace that we go to. And it was pretty much as packed, but they have a much bigger parking lot. So I parked about a mile away and um, got in there and I was like, man, what am I doing? This is ridiculous. And uh, that was kind of why the video might've felt rushed in a way, or I didn't get to a lot of the stuff that I wanted to because there were just so many people and, and it was, sh people were shoulder to shoulder. And I just kind of, you know, I always try to stay away from people, you know, especially when I'm filming something, I don't want to get in anybody's way or anything like that. If, if people are coming by, I turn the camera off and pretty much just hang out and look at stuff until, you know, everybody's passed. Cause you know, I don't want to bother anybody, but, um, it was really just, it was just one thing after another and I'm I'm sitting there and I'm looking at all the missing items and I'm like man this is just this is terrible and it wasn't just because of the snowstorm a lot of this stuff isn't coming in yeah everybody going and buying up a bunch of stuff was part of it you know because there is a possibility that you know we might be you know power might go out knock on wood that doesn't happen but you know we've had ice storms here in Cincinnati where it does you know, mess up the uh, lines and stuff, and you can't, you know, you, you might lose power for a day or two. So, oh yeah, and make sure you have a cooler ready uh, if you're in the line of these storms. And I hope everybody is, uh, stay safe. Don't be out driving in this nonsense. Um, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, most of the people who follow us, you know, always seem to have a good amount stocked up or know to go to the store when this happens. I don't blame anybody. I don't blame the crowd for going to Kroger, you know, to get extra things. It's just, you know, when you start hearing on the news that, well, okay, we got these power outages in wherever part of the country and that same storm's coming this way, everybody freaks out and go to the store. I completely understand that. The thing that... I thought was funny is we had just gone to the Kroger marketplace about a week and a half ago and I didn't see a half half of the amount of inconvenience stickers that I saw today so what is that like you, you're not putting these up because of the snowstorm I think a lot of it has to do with the trucking issues that we're having right now and just not being able to get in a lot of these products some of the products are are the same but i'm seeing new ones too i'm seeing new ones over by the you know we knew that v8 was low and stuff like that and a lot of juices but we're seeing stickers everywhere now so that kind of tells me that it's going to be a while before they start to get these things back in so it's just good to prepare if you if you're at kroger and you see uh these stickers just know in the back of your mind that that some of this stuff is going to be hard to get in um and you know all in all, probably not the greatest day to go to Kroger. I, we didn't really need to. Uh, we have plenty of stuff. We got plenty of food, plenty of stock. St we're, we're stocked up. I stocked up at Sam's Club. Y'all know that. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't want to edit this out because I wanted to give you my full emotion. Yeah, I, it, was, uh, it was crazy. And the whole, you know, and I know that there was probably maybe some employees that didn't show up or something because that customer service thing was ringing every 30 seconds and it was i ain't gonna lie it, it got kind of annoying there was a la i overheard a lady talking to another lady and they said do they not have anybody at customer service and then the other lady said i'm about to go up there and tell them hey pay me and i'll answer the phone for you so you know but it's you know big snowstorm coming in the morning uh, the, and and thank you to all the Kroger's employees who are working very hard to keep everything as much, at least as you have, on the shelves 
and, and taking care of, of your customers. Because uh, the Kroger Marketplace we go to, very nice people. Uh, they work very hard. And, you know, I, there were an awful lot of click listers, too. The guys who go around the store and, you know, for the for the cars that pull up outside, you know, customers, you know, and they're, and they're going around, they're shopping everywhere. And, and there was just a ton of those today. Didn't surprise me at all, though. I expected that. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, yeah, probably wasn't the best day to go to Kroger. It was, it was pretty ridiculous. But anyway, got it done. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there. Thank you.